after the last liquid soap video that i uploaded and showed you all how you can actually make a quality liquid detergent dishwashing liquid without making use of texapon gel that video actually caught the eyes of many in fact i received a whole lot of reviews on it on people who actually tried it out and to be honest with you because of the rising cost of texapon in the market that video was cost saving yet effective because of the way i formulated that recipe so as a formulator what i'm here to do for you is always be dishing out sweet sweet recipes and formulas for you guys to use and include in your business please if you actually like this video just give me a small thank you a small like in this video also subscribe to my channel share this video so that others who are also in need of it will love it now this one i'm making so on today's edition we are going to replicate this video again but in another form we'll be actually introducing texapon gel to it there are actually some persons who just can't make soap without adding texapon to it and some of them feel that it won't ladder but i'm trying to tell you there are whole lots of foaming agents surfactants out there there are variants you can uh, that you can actually incorporate into your soap and leave out some i'm telling you you can also increase the already the quantities of the ones you are already making use of you see some persons making a whole hundred liters of soap with just hundred ml of uh, sulfonic acid and then they'll tell you it was foaming the first day it's not foaming in the second day please calm down and watch this video you actually learn a lot from this video if you like what me bam glam has been doing for you on this youtube channel please just click the like button and drop a very positive comment for me also let's go into the production i'm dissolving my sls inside uh, water i'll just decide dissolve it and set it aside from the total water we are using we are making use of 10 liters of water so i just took out like two liters to dissolve the sls and then i'll set it aside all the recipe will be also on the screen and the des description box now i'm using seven liters of water to dissolve 50 grams of natural soap powder some of you will say eh, they don't used to sell natural soap like that in the market when you go they'll tell you eh, if you want to do five liters just buy five liters chemical if you want to have what i have calm your mind down if you go to the market buy a natural soap in, in that one kg half kg quarter kg use their scale there and measure out measure it out in 50 50 grams and tie it then use pen and paper write on it 50 gram of natural soap so that you know what you measured you can actually work on all your chemicals like this from the shop you bought it from these are for those who do not have scale at home you can use their scale and work your production out before you start going to your house now adding your sulfonic acid 300 ml of sulfonic acid add it into that already dissolve natural so then continue stirring please bear in mind that the first stage where you are dissolving your natural so you have to mix it for at least 10 minutes 10 minutes or more so that it can actually hydrate perfectly you know that issues whereby after making your soap you start seeing small small tiny tiny lumps or small small grains in your soap it starts from your first stage which is dissolving your natural soap if you do not dissolve your natural soap very well, you will have those outcome of lumps in your soap and the rest of them. Some of us will say, I miss well, I don't know what happened though. You know miss well to tell you the honest truth. Now after that, going with your texapon gel, I measured out my texapon gel and added to the mixture. Mix it perfectly. Just continue mixing. Mix it perfectly. You know, you see the way I'm writing my name, Babglam DIY, and my phone number on the screen everywhere. Some persons on YouTube here, WhatsApp, Facebook, just come download my content and repost it on their, on their YouTube channel. The ones that are doing it on their YouTube channel, I'm trying to actually take some legal actions about it. For Facebook and TikTok, I can't really do much about that. But at least, even if you re repost my video, try and give it, attach some consent. This video is from Bam Glam. At least people will know than just outright stealing my whole content now me go market buy chemical now me shoot the video now me edit now me post you just stay in your house and you just download my video and try start using it to take people's money from their pocket some even sell my videos it's not nice it's not nice at all so next what i'm trying to do now is to dissolve my thickness so that i should help me to activate the sulfonic in this recipe 
and also to offer some cleaning ability to it. Sodium sulfate to help your natural soul to grab, to help your viscosity to be improved so that you have something that is thick and glossy. Sulfonic acid will help you and do that. And all those slimy textures of natural soul, so, uh, sorry, it's not sulfonic acid, sodium sulfate will help you cut it down and then give you a very good viscosity, just like you saw in the beginning of this video. Then salt, viscosity checker, salt is there in all liquid detergents that is being made everywhere. Both shampoos, um, body washes, dishwashes. It is, if you turn the back of all this product, you will see sodium chloride behind it. Sodium chloride means salt now your kitchen salt oh it is a viscosity checker go and read it online stop telling me is it good to add salt in soap the person that is selling um, liquid soap for me told me don't add salt that's why you can't have my texture that's why my products and your products are different that is why there is always different between all the products in the market but if you actually want to have this outcome that i had just use it the way i listed it don't go behind the corners and remove something and after you message me and tell me that bam glam i made your recipe didn't come out well me i will know i know all these things i know all these tricks so what i'm adding now is sls do this recipe the way i said you should do it and you have a perfect outcome outcome don't remove don't add what I'm adding now is the SLS that I dissolve with water in the beginning. It has properly dissolved. Add it in and combine. Now we started with water, natural soul. We incorporated in our sulfonic acid, texapone gel. Now we are adding in our SLS. Mix everything well. After this stage, what we'll do next now is to add our preservative. If you want to add glycerin, add. If you want to add fragrance, add. Before you start thickening it up, adding the thickness. So just continue watching the video. You actually learn more from this video. So what I'm doing now is to add fragrance into my soap. I'm using lemon fresh. This lemon fresh is almost about 25,000 naira per, per liter. Well, it's very strong and very active. People always appreciate it whenever I use it. So I'm, I'll just keep on buying it. Also, I have other places I buy cheaper uh, lemon fragrance. But this particular one, people always saying it's nice, it's nice. So I'm just doing only lemon in this production. Then I added glycerin. Then your preservative will come in now, mixing all these things now before you continue with your thickening agent. Please, just adding everything right this moment. So once you are done, mix everything together. You can use any quantity of fragrance you have. Also bear in mind that some fragrance can make your soap to lose texture. Some fragrance can also make your color of your production to change. Also know that some fragrance in the market are diluted, so you will not get the best of using them in your liquid soap or in any production that you are making. Can you see how bubbly the soap is? Very bubbly and very beautiful. Please do sure, make sure to try this recipe out. Now let's go in with our soda ash mixture. You remember this mixture that I mixed with one liter of water that contains soda ash, sodium sulfate, and salt. I know this method is different from what you've been learning from TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, your mentors, and the rest of them. But please open your mind to learning new things. Move with the trend. If you're into production, open your mind. Even the, the products they sell in the supermarket around you. Sometimes you see them right on the body of their product. New and improved formula. It means they have changed. So be open to learning new things. That way, you will always be the best at your game. And you see how fun it is. And you see how beautiful it is. I just brought out this small. I left it aside. I'll use it and check the pH later. The reason I brought it out before coloring it is because the pH indicator I'm using is a liquid pH indicator. And pH indicates by color. The color of the outcome will determine the pH of the substance. So if I should actually color the product before I add in my, I check my pH, I won't have a very good outcome. So that is the reason I have to separate out a little bit of the mixture before adding in my color. And you bring out that mixture that you want to use and check your pH after you must have added everything from beginning to the end. Once you are done, cover the soap and let it sit till the next day. By the next day, you will see your outcome. Wow magnificent it's eye popping it's eye catching there's nobody that sees this soap that doesn't like it there's nobody you will sell this soap to that won't actually like it texture is everything 
they won't call you and tell you your soap is not sick and they won't call you and tell you your soap is not smelling nice and they won't call you and tell you that your soap doesn't ladder mm -mm, mm -mm. and then my soap are you sure it's my soap he's trying to make this for your household to limit the cost you, you and your husband or your spouse spend every day in purchasing household cleaning agents 